I'm not gonna sit there and dedicate my time to Peach, you know? It's worth it. It's yeah, worth it in definitely, the long run. Definitely. But at the same time, we're seeing a lot of these Peach and Daisy players that are so skilled, but a lot of these players are gonna know the matchup because of that. Yeah. So if you don't come, you know, with, with, with maximized options, you're, you're probably gonna get exposed if your Peach and Daisy is playing like, like Razzle's is right exactly. now. Exactly. Let's see if I'm hit 10 step up to the plate. He is on the winner's side, so he's undefeated today, but he hasn't played against Razzle. Razzle was taken out by Sizzler. So this is the first time these guys have played tonight. And uh, let's see what they have in store for us. Grand final tonight for the Sunday All right, and I'm hit already with a ton of percent on Raza here. Uh, it does look like I mean, he knows how to play this match. Blue Lord gets a grab with the blue. Up throw still not going to be enough. Actually, I don't, it might not have been blue. Maybe not. Up smash yeah. not going to connect, though. I'm hit quickly netting 140% on Raza. Be careful. Yeah. Alamar is very light. This is oh. a lot of reach. Already threatening with Woo! forwarders, and he gets a second one off stage. How does he do it? How does he oh land two forwarders God. that effortlessly? He went from being down a full 100% to taking the first stock in a matter of seconds. Razo is so good, man. Alright, so he's nice to find hit for the send. Razo flying across the stage. It's an edge guard here for I'm hit. Just gonna sit and shake in uh, shield patiently. I like that that he's doing that by the ledge too because he knows that Razo has the ability to float and approach with downer off of ledge, which is an option that like a lot of characters don't have. But he, if he anticipates this, he can parry or shield the downers and get a, a hard punish out of it. So gotcha. I like that. 179% Raza. Okay, finally getting the uh, stock off with the forward air. I believe that was a purple forward air, too. Yeah. So very extra much, knockback. Yeah, extra knockback. But Razo in that first stock, now has him a 76% lead because of that. So this is still anyone's game. We know I'm him to take over. I'm going to go for the grab there. Instead, goes for the up smash, which would have led into some aerials. But the spot's not coming out. Now Razo's going to get the forward air. It's going to kill him. That move is extremely strong. As I said, Alomar is a pretty light character as well, so that will kill reliably, especially by the ledge. Alright, way back. Gets set flying back by the toad, and a great pivot grab from Razo there. Doesn't get the platform extension he was looking for, and sitting there a little bit too long, just enough for I'm hit to get that up smash in. Yeah, beautiful up smash. Now he's stacking on the percent, trying to bring this game back, but Razo, ever since that double forward air, has kept control of the lead. Yeah, I mean, I'm Hip is playing phenomenally as well, but it's like you said, it's just Razo has been playing on par and on point, so it's tough for I'm Hip to really close the gap. But he is doing that as we speak right now. He does have a great lineup right now. Two purple in tow. He's yes. got tons of kill power. Right. And he has a blue. This is the all-star oh, Pikmin lineup. Boy. And he's gotten Razo to 99%. This is a tie game, but I'm him in control of the stage in the running down smash. That was beautiful by I'm him. What composure, what mental fortitude. I don't think there's another player like I'm him in this game right now. Yeah, he's undoubtedly, in my opinion, one of the strongest Solomars in the country, if not in the world. You know him, the buzz. Uh, you know, we obviously have Shutan over in Japan, yeah. and uh, I really can't wait for Genesis 6 to see all these top players. The first real major for the game, but uh, I'm hip right now. Up 1-0. What a clutch game. What a way to start Grand Finals and uh, retain that. Yeah, I mean, he was playing from behind that entire time, so he was really able to keep his mental fortitude up and get the uh, clutchest down smash punish there at the end. Yep. So moving on to game two on the same stage. Yep, he has to be very neutral. Yeah, I like it because it does have this, like, uh, you know, this, this open area in the middle, so it, like, even projectile users who like to hide on the platforms, so there's, there's a much easier time to, to get in on them. And then the fact that there are the platforms there means that a lot of characters can extend combos as if they were on Battlefield. Uh, uh oh. Another thing I want to mention too is I'm him, you know, he won his winner's final set for Spear Flex and then he pretty much didn't play for an hour. And, and Razo, meanwhile, you know, loser semis, loser's finals. He is warmed up. Meanwhile, I'm him. He just gets on the sticks and just look at him play, man. He is controlling Olimar. 
exactly how he needs to right now. Up a full stock, up in percent. He's only taken 30% this game. I'm hit in on fire. I'm hip looking like he's well on his way to taking this grand finals in a single set. He's got two purples in line. He can definitely get the stock off here of Razo. And if he does, he's going to have a really hefty lead. It seems to be that Razo is struggling just hitting this small character. Right now. Nice turn up. Gonna get rid of his Pikmin real quick. Yeah, that purple Pikmin actually going through the Toad counter and still getting uh, the hit in for the knockback. Interesting. The only Pikmin that would have did that yeah, probably yeah, is the yeah. purple Pikmin. They're just so many men. Hashtag not gonna do it. I'm hip. How can they recover? Oh. Wow. And that up air going through the stage, yeah. hitting the counter, and then the counter into him going through the stage as well. What an interesting interaction. See something out of Razo here. Punishing these whistle oh. attempts. That side B looks like it hit a Pikmin or something. Yeah, yeah, because it definitely didn't. It sent Olimar nowhere. Yeah. yeah. And because of that, I'm Hip is going to regain his stage control. Shields the side B. What a max range wow. pivot grab. And of course, it was the blue Pikmin. Dude, and that was a, a total bait from uh, I'm Hip. He, yeah. he knew Razo was going to go for that option, so he decided to have bait back, go for the pivot grab. Right. As we were saying, you know, these Peach players, these Daisy players have been around so long, so players like Ivan who have also been fighting against them know certain things. If you get hit by side B on your shield, you don't try to punish it. Instead, goes for a quick grab, takes that second stock. I'm hip now tacking on some extra credit, got 30 already. Jab, jab, order, not gonna connect though. I'm hip, uh, 143, yeah. Global Blue just uh, can't, got out of play just now, but he still got a, a relatively decent lineup. Well, he lost the purple now. Full stock lead. Yes. Nice side B there. And we saw before the side B hitting the Pikmin, this time actually landing the hit on Olimar. Nice carry down tilt. And he's using that whistle as a combo breaker. Interesting stuff. Yeah, not bad. I mean, after all, you can almost expect him to go for the whistle most of the time since you know once Peach gets her train going, it's pretty much a guaranteed combo. Exactly. So, yeah, so using that whistle, you know, frames the intensity. And uh, right now, we saw Olimar die very early, so this is pretty much a tie game. Before it aired this far off stage, can kill Olimar right now. But very smart, goes back to center stage, up smash. Actually getting punished, it's surprising to see up smash getting punished. He's getting safe from shield. Especially the purple. Blue and a purple is maybe looking for a grab here, but he gets it down and with the purple. Yeah, the white Pikmin, I would say. Throw that away. Doesn't really have much use right now, considering Daisy uh -oh. is low pass kill for that. Double purple though, and nice falling back here. I'm hip again. Last hit situation. Like, this could easily be too low Razo, but instead it's too low I'm hip. He's just being very clutch today, and it's, I'm not surprised he's here in Grand Finals on the winner's side. He's, he's probably been clutching out games like this all day. All day, man. And it's showing after he is up two in this set and one game potentially from taking the entire thing from winner's side. Okay, and I'm Hip is doing his thing where he's up two games. He's Did he go Ridley? He's going oh, this time he's going inkling, inkling, man. I'm Hip, you I'm are... so curious. You are just such a confident player, man. Absolutely. This character is good. Oh, absolutely. You know, speak, speaking of Peach and Daisy being a character with a very high skill curve, Inkling is about the opposite, where it's a character that's very pick up and play. Oh, definitely. But in the hands of a top player like I'm him, we're gonna see you know the out of the norm options. We're gonna see we're gonna see the top Inkling play right here. I'm expecting nothing less from him. We saw his Ridley come in and just do work. So. All right, but Razo on the better end of this exchange so far. Up by about 10%. Well, it looks like I'm uh, I'm hip is really trying to get these F smashes in. Okay. If I'm Razo right now, I'm like, I am not losing to this pocket ink. Oh, okay. No. I, I, I just lost barely last stock to his best character. This shouldn't be as hard, right? But no, I'm hip's gonna try to make it happen with Inkling, but nice down tilt, nair, up air, down tilt. These combos from Razo are ridiculous. Yeah, and I mean, those combos are gonna hurt a lot more now, too. After all we mentioned earlier, he was making use of the armor on the whistle. Right. But he doesn't have anything like that now. Razo oh. right now, freeing up this inkling, getting plenty extra credit. 
Razo, he's been playing so great. If, I, if I'm on him, I'm not doing anything to give him any type of momentum. But instead, I'm hip comes back with the roller. Finally finding that stock with the roller into the F smash. Didn't need to do anything fancy, just a simple F smash. Oh, air coming back. And he gets a ledge from back air. That's something we saw all throughout Smash 4. Option you don't see as much in Ultimate, but as you can see, Razo making it happen. Oh, man. Going for these drag down up air mix ups. He is moving right now. Down air into forward air. Bread and butter goes for that maximum side B again. Oh. And that was a suicide side B. Dude, he was going for something nutty there. Yeah. Razo was feeling it, though. And is that the spark that I'm Hip needed, though, oh, to get this man. game right now? The second lease on life for I'm Hip right now. He's got a bit of damage on the board now. He's getting some more with a dash attack. Uh -oh. Oh, Down oh. throw fair. This is pretty much a tie game now. Roller not going to connect, though. Oh, and he gets the ink. That's going to actually get a, a lot of percent, about 20%. Yeah. And, and I don't know if Razo should have went for that suicide side B. I'm Hip now taking the percent lead. This is tournament stock. I mean, this is equivalent to top to get body so far. Uh oh, he's he going make it really back. low. Air dodge. Ooh. And Razo, he's going to ledge ground, but the Nair gets another Nair. Oh my god. Inkling can still make it back, and he does. The landing hitbox going for Nair some percent. Gotta watch out for the roller. The roller right now could end it. No up. kill throw. Up throw would have been scary, but yeah. no kill. Nice turn up play here. And the forward air, Razo clutching out finally one of these last hit situations. So I'm wondering if uh, Mark Hip is going to stick it out and go with the inkling for this next game. He could just switch back to Olimar. Right. Close it up, close up shop. At know, this point, I want to see him done. just keep going secondaries. Hey, uh, let, let too, Razo reset too. the bracket. We'll just be here for another hour. One, hour. one thing okay. I think that uh, I'm Hip could have done to kind of mix up his recovery even a little bit more with Inkling is I didn't see him use the uh, roller, roller when he was off stage. Off stage. Yeah. yeah, especially in those situations that he's getting hit. Yeah. Go into the drop zone with that roller and give him a little bit of which character you go. Back to Back Inkling. To Inkling. Inkling. I'm Hip. I can respect it. I don't respect it at all. If I'm Razo, I'm like, all right, we're going to game five. I'm not losing to one of your pocket characters. I was almost about to beat your Olimar twice in a row. Yeah, but honestly, after that uh, suicide stock from Razo, it got scary. Uh, yeah, I mean, and look at the momentum that I'm hit this game from it. He definitely took that second lease in life and ran away with it. Said, okay, now's the time to really step up. How I'm playing with the inkling, it's like he remembered. He got his muscle memory back. 116% yes. already racked up on Razo. This character is getting a lot of exposure right now, oh, man. and you're seeing why. But I'm him, man. What, what a skilled player, able to just switch in grand finals against such a strong opponent. To switch characters, switch play styles. Alomar is just such a different character than Inkling, but he's still making it happen. Definitely okay. I'm also trying to get him with the forward air there, but uh, I'm hip just got interrupted really quickly. Uh, that's a lot of ink, the jab. Inks your opponent quite a bit, opening for more opportunities for Inkling to get this extra damage. And find some with the forward air. Getting another one. Wow, I'm hip right now, lapping Razo oh into in percent. This Inkling is not playing like a pocket Inkling. If he pulled it out in bracket, it's safe to say he, he had confidence in the character, especially after losing that game and going right on back to the game. He's not playing around. This isn't like he's going random. This is one of his characters, clearly. Yes, up throw, no, back throw. Goes for the grenade, nice forward air. Not gonna kill though, great DI from my And here's the punish. No, the platform coming in and scooping up Daisy. Nice back air punishing that roller. That was great reaction from Razo. Whoa, did you Whoa, see that slide? Hello. How did that even, what? Side V properties, I guess, with what? the ink on the ground. Look at this Nair plane. Oh my god. Triple Nair there from Razo. And look at that neutral B. Tack so it on percent. Much ink. A B. Not, a read. not gonna KO. Yeah, it's way too early percent for that. Are we gonna see an up throw? Maybe no back back throw. Yeah, back throw is gonna be uh I'm hit and ink game. game. Wow. Kill throw. Uh he's not gonna need it though. He finds himself an up air. The back air is definitely a kill option, especially by the way. This is tournament stock. Once again, I'm him trying to take this tournament with Inkling. We all seen as Olimar, but this Inkling is smooth. Looks like he just might. Find the forward air, a parry into the jab. This Good. is really bad for I'm uh, for Raza right now. Yes, this is a beautiful extra credit for I'm him. He has a whole nother stock to sit on. But I think he's gonna try to use this Ooh. rage 
to close out the tournament right here. This could be it, Ro folks. And the roller not going to connect. Razo, great. Great job avoiding that roller. You got hit by about once in the past two games, and that's it. Yeah. And that's the move that everyone's so scared of now. That move isn't that great. Yeah, it's honestly, it's honestly pretty punishable, especially if you can uh, react to it and get the option out of the uh, jump cancel, too. I think the DI is impeccable, man. Nice. The up B does have a bottom hitbox. Not going to ground him there. And I'm hip. Just needs one strong move to take this. 190% on his inkling. He's well past max rate. Oh, yeah. It was long, long past that. Catches the turn oh. up, hits the forward end. Ooh, a rising down air right there would have been so spectacular. But instead, he's going back to get the throw. back throw. Yeah. And GG's I'm hip taking Wednesday night fights. Three, one. Very, very solid. Uh, he's on point, man. Solid set for sure. I mean, that one game that he lost, he... Razo did have his number. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, even at the end, after Razo SD, it was, it was looking pretty close. And that... that I mean, he had the confidence to move into the final game with the same character and was able right. to close it out very dominantly. So. Good job to Congrats everyone. To him. Beautiful.